welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the 2019 limited edition Neons collection from OPI. I got this collection from polishpick.com. I will leave them in the description box below as well as their Instagram page and OPI's Instagram and OPI's site and my Instagram page where I will have more swatches of everything from this collection. So we do have six new Neons from OPI to look at today and let's go ahead and get started. So first we have VI Pink Passes, and this is a bright neon pink Krelly-ish formula. So here's our first coat of VI Pink Passes. So this is more on the jelly side of formulas as far as a Krelly goes, so it is pretty sheer here. It does have to be built up to opacity. Formula on this is a little bit on the thicker side. That does go for everything in this collection. It doesn't make it difficult to work with, but it does make it not self-leveling. So bear that in mind and try to do as even coats as possible. So here's our second coat, and that's building up well in two coats. But still pretty streaky, so I am going to continue to build this up. In my swatch photo, I did do three super careful, more thick and like floating the brush kind of coats. So that did bring me to opacity, but you'll see here that three coats is still pretty patchy for me. So there's our third coat and everything in this collection is gonna dry down to a matte finish. If you don't like that, you will want a glossy top coat to finish all of these off, but I didn't experience any kind of staining with anything in this collection. So there is three coats. Up next we have Orange You a Rockstar and this is a coral neon Krelly-ish formula. So here's our first coat of Orange You a Rockstar. So everything in this collection is going to have the same everything, just a different color. So this one is pretty sheer and streaky here on this first coat. I am going to go ahead and continue to build this up. So here's our second coat and that's building up well, not completely opaque, still pretty patchy. So I am going to continue with a third coat. So for all of these, you could benefit from using a white base, but you do still have to bear in mind the streaky quality of everything here. Um, so it might still pose problems over a white. So here's our third coat and that covers as well as it's going to in three coats. But again, I did three much thicker and much gentler coats for my swatch photo. This is also gonna dry matte, so you will want a glossy top coat to finish this one off as well. So there is three coats. Up next we have Pump Up the Volume, and this is actually more of like a pastel neon yellow. Um, it definitely looks brighter on camera than it is in person. So here's our first coat of Pump Up the Volume. So this one is probably the most sheer of the collection, um, which is actually kind of surprising since this one, in my opinion, is leaning more of a pastel yellow neon. Um, so I figured white was added to this, which should bring the opacity level up, but it didn't. So. This is starting to build up in two coats, not completely opaque, still patchy, still streaky. Um, I am going to build it up with a third coat today, but even with the three thicker and floating the brush coats for my swatch photo, I couldn't bring this to opacity. I did have to add four coats for my swatch photo. This one is also going to dry down matte, just like everything in this collection. If you don't like that, you will want glossy top coats to finish this off, but I didn't have any kind of staining with this one either. So there is three coats. Up next is Dance Party Teal Dawn, and as the name suggests, this is a teal polish. Here's our first coat of Dance Party Teal Dawn. So we're moving into the darker colors now. Uh, formulas are the same though, a little bit on the thicker side, easy to work with, but not self-leveling very well. So you do have some issues with streaking throughout this collection. This one is also a teal polish, which does tend to stain a lot of people. I didn't wear a base coat, but I also only wore this for swatching and I didn't experience any kind of staining in the amount of time that I had it on. So this is building up well into coats, not completely opaque again, so I am gonna go in for a third coat. And you will see that on three coats, I do still have some streaking. I did have to work in thicker and more careful coats for my swatch photo to get this opaque in three. 
So this one is also going to dry down matte. You will want a glossy top coat to finish this off if you don't like the matte finish. And I didn't have any skin staining either, so there's three coats. Up next we have Music Is My Muse, and this is a primary blue neon. Here's our first coat of Music Is My Muse. So this one is also very sheer here on this first coat. Uh, more of that jelly finish as opposed to the cream and the crelly, but I think it feels more like a crelly when applying it than a jelly. <laughs> So again, formula, easy to work with, a little bit on the thicker side, not difficult to do, just not very self-leveling. So building up well into coats, not completely opaque, still have some streakiness going on. You might be better layering some of these over a white base if you want to trust that it will even itself out well. So this is pretty much completely opaque in three coats. This one is one of the closer ones in the collection, not still completely opaque. Um, you do have to work in a little bit thicker and a little bit more careful coats, but there is three coats. And lastly for today, we have positive vibes only, and this is a bright purple neon. And here's our first coat of positive vibes only. So this one actually covers pretty well here on this first coat, considering the previous five polishes that we've looked at. Uh, formula is the same, a little bit on the thicker side, easy enough to work with, just not self-leveling, so bear that in mind. So here's our second coat, and that's building up really well in two coats, almost completely opaque. I did have a little bit of streaking that I wanted to cover up with a third coat, but this is the one that comes to opacity in three thinner coats. This is one that I don't think anybody would need a white base for. So there's our third coat. And this one, just like everything else, is going to dry down to a matte finish. You will want a glossy top coat to finish this off if you don't like the matte finish. So there is three coats. So I think I've been spoiled rotten with Indie Neons because I was not all about this collection. It was okay, um, and it has its place in my collection, but it definitely wasn't what I was wanting it to be. But my favorite of the collection is Dance Party Teal Dawn. It's the most original in a neon collection from this collection in my opinion um so that's why it definitely got opaque in three coats for me not everything in this collection did so this one is one of my favorites and guys that is it let me know in the comments below what you thought of this collection let me know if you plan on picking any of them up and let me know what your favorite was give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and i will talk to you again next time